how Custom Chipotle 3 is a powerful, reliable, and easy to use CNC workhorse. With a new spindle and two changer installed, this machine is covering up everything we throw at it. But how do we solve the dust problem? Find out in today's video. Hello Internet, welcome back. Our custom Shipoko has so many great improvements and features packed into it, it's hard to imagine what else are we missing. But there is one last thing left to tackle, and that is the dust system. So today, we're going to install a pneumatic dust shoe. This is our new spindle and tool changer, and this is the dust shoe for our old Makita router. Nothing special, but it was effective. However, with the new ATC, this and any other fixed dust shoe is incompatible. During machining, the dust shoe needs to be lowered far enough to the workpiece so that it catches the debris created from the tool. But at this height, the dust shoe will collide with any tool holder when performing a tool change. To solve this problem, we will need to make the dust shoe actuate up and down. So this is the plan. We will install a pneumatic actuator onto the Shapoko to rise and lower the dust shoe when necessary. We will also modify the tool holder to increase the usable C-axis height that we lost during the installation of the automatic tool changer. Let's get started. Finally installed, let's review the new dust shoe. When machining, the dust shoe will be lowered so that it makes contact with the waste board. Let's run a test print to make sure everything looks good. As you can see, when engaged, it significantly helps keep the workplace clean. Next, when performing the two change, the dust shoe will be raised by the pneumatic actuator allowing for enough clearance for the CNC to place the tool onto the tool holder and pick up the next desired tool. This upgrade completes the current list of modifications that we have planned for Shopoko. In the future, I would like to get a laser engraver and even a fourth axis installed onto this machine. And if you have any other cool ideas about modifications that we can do, leave your suggestions down in the comments below. Last episode, we told you that we were going to give away a Carbide 3D Bitrunner. And the winner is Getter125. Congratulations, email us so we can get you your prize. Lastly, we'll be releasing everything that we've updated with the project files on GitHub. You can download them now for free. The links will be in the descriptions below. Consider becoming a Patreon. Your support would be greatly appreciated. 
Patreon supporters will also have access to our private Discord channels where we will help you with your Sepulchre questions. See you next time.